हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मिजो स्टडीज टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यूजफुल फॉर योर जेई एडवांस 2018 एग्जाम एंड दिस जंपिंग 30 डेज इज टेलिंग यू दैट दिस 30 डेज लास्ट हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज ओके so once again i would like to say be the part of this discussion very small amount of your precious studies time i will take fine but if you will put focus definitely you will score more marks fine so here some very important uh, points that i would like to initially mention that is uh, on 20th of may your uh, big day fine to join any of the iit so be happy and be positive for that and then mode of exam this time is only online mode i'm sure you all are aware with this fact then students there are two papers one is timing your 9 am to 12 noon and then you have a lunch break obviously so after that 2 pm to 5 pm this is your second paper but over here important is these both papers are mandatory for all contestants fine around 2.25 lakhs so they all have to appear in both these papers and if you have any doubt any queries please visit www.mizoestudy.com all these important information points are mentioned over there and still if you find anything difficult post your queries by phone by your support mode we will definitely provide you immediate support for that fine so don't forget this link www.mizoestudy.com fine now about our je main tip suddenly you may think we are discussing uh, je advance and then suddenly uh, main tips i want to share something with you actually in uh, previous video about je mains 2018 exam we explained strategy for scoring minimum 100 marks in physics and here i want to mention i mean we want to mention something which is very important the way we mentioned uh, you can say a selective approach the paper was exactly in that sequence around 68 to 70 marks just from just few selected topics if you just go through to the paper you will find it so my point in that paper also was to score at least certain good marks and that has been proved correct fine despite all these uh, you can say comments that this time cbsc declared that uh, you can say equal distribution of the questions something like that but it was not like that so whatever we predicted that was absolutely correct fine so that's i thought it's better to mention it so now a basic question comes in mind how to score high marks in advanced exam and why i'm saying high marks because advanced exam you know is uh, you can say it's a higher stage exam so if you score some good marks obviously you may ensure your seat fine so that's why we are not confining ourselves in a some specific uh, values like 60 10 20 34 marks not like that so again selective approach selective approach means don't reject topics but ensure some minimum topics conceptual clarity so that uh, in general around 60 to 65 marks fine each uh, paper in phys uh, of physics so at least you can score roughly around 50% uh, marks or so okay so that's the selective approach and how the selective approach is going to work that is a uh, percent of the of questions class wise if we analyze from last uh, few years then this is the uh, data that i uh, want to share with you from class 11th it's around 47% nearly 50 and uh, for, uh, from class 12th it's around 53 slightly more than uh, 50% so vis a vis you can say uh, the distribution is up to some extent equal almost equal fine <clears throat> then it comes approach for attaining decent score here i would like to devote some time with all of you why reason being students that in this particular uh, topic i mentioned 
from uh, 2012 to 2017 that is the uh, starting of the J advanced exam around 6 to 8 questions from electrodynamics fine then mechanics 7 to 9 around 3 to 4 questions from this heat and thermodynamics modern physics 4 to 5 optics 4 to 5 and SHM and waves 4 to 5 so if you just prepare this much putting aside all other topics not ignoring but I mean more focus on to these topics obviously you can score a good rank otherwise say for example uh, in mechanics like kinematics uh, laws of motion work power energy rotation so this way you can uh, select topics of your choice but overall here what I mention it is you can say broad distribution fine so try to focus over here on to these at least four or five branches maximum contribution you can see from electrodynamics and mechanics okay so if you are weak or if you are feeling some difficulty in coming 30 days please put your maximum focus on to these two branches fine that will definitely help you out then percentage of questions from 2009 to 2017 here we uh, expanded our sample collection process fine uh, so rather than 2012 we also go back to like three four years back from that and uh, unit voice paper one and paper two if you analyze then here again the same concept mechanics one and two electricity and magnetism that is electrodynamics the same concept over here and then obviously modern physics optics and general physics like that so this is the bigger chunk that is uh, this one is like you can say <coughs> this portion of mechanics this one and then this portion of electricity and magnetism so these two are contributing very good amount of marks so that is very important you should try to put your focus over here fine <coughs> uh, obviously when I am saying this few of you may say so what about other branches I am not saying that you should not study but as you can see maximum portion is from these branches so better to put your maximum focus over here fine then students it's uh, difficulty analysis and here my approach about difficulty analysis is totally different from mains approach reason being in mains exam you have simple questions and you have to provide uh, the solution like uh, for each correct answer uh, 4 marks for each incorrect answer minus 1 marks but difficulty analysis in JE advance is different not only from the concept and topic point of view but question variation is also important fine uh, if I would like to mention then straight objective type question that is one category another is multiple options correct that is next category then linked comprehension type questions then integer answer type questions and matrix match so these are broadly five categories under which IIT is used to ask questions fine so difficulty over here is not only associated with the topic but also with the pattern of the questions fine so in general each paper have maximum 60 to 65 marks for physics I'm talking about and uh, then around 12 to 14 questions paper 1 plus paper 2 are of single correct type that is the first category that is straight objective questions only one option correct and this segment has negative marking fine plus 3 minus 1 plus 4 minus 1 something like that every year they used to change it here you should put your maximum focus fine because you are quite confident you are quite uh, habitual of attending these type of questions then around six to eight questions are of one or more than one correct type here don't mark any incorrect that is not correct option if out of c a b c d let's say you say you you uh, calculated that okay option b is correct or other options like a c d you are unable to understand don't mark them mark only option b so that you can get some partial marks fine then around 6 to 8, eight questions are of single digit integer type calculations if correct 
then these questions are very helpful also simple questions fine i am not talking about complicated aspects like comprehension like matrix fine i am putting aside those even i am just uh, trying to show you the path how you can at least score a decent uh, marks fine that is the important aspect then approach in last 30 days i think that is important fine what should be your approach previous year's question papers this strategy students is very important for any type of competitive exam fine so same is to here for uh, advanced exam formulae and shortcuts the more you may learn the more you can score then time management that is very important fine three hours so that way you should try to uh, manage your time now eliminating wrong, wrong answers that is something which is true for your uh, category one and two that i just two minutes back explained you for a multiple correct or one correct so that is eliminating that's why i mentioned it with the different yellow color fine it is uh, partially applicable in your paper but it is very better approach and then try easiest questions first ultimately you need not to top the exam ultimately initially you have to ensure that at least you are in the safest zone so first pick up easiest questions attempt them properly so that you can start doing some difficult questions and then tips to remember these are some important points which i would like to mention keep revising basic concepts very fundamental thing but very important you may say every teacher used to say like this there is no shortcut for success fine ultimately you have to put your focus on the basic things then take mock test on regular basis and that too on computer because this time the entire exam is going to be conducted in cbt mode fine online mode so that is very important please ensure arrange anyhow but only computer based test it is even uh, available online uh, with various sites uh, uh, in our site it is also available so you can use that facility now in examination hall read questions carefully and mark in omr sheet with 200 percent accuracy means because the different different uh, questions have different different answer approach so you should try to put your focus in this fashion fine then it comes your uh, second aspect never do guesswork for j advanced type of exams no guesswork and if you are finding some questions are difficult don't lose calm be cool just keep reading the problems never allocate one hour time for each subject don't do that from entire i mean you should keep on uh, picking the easiest questions and keep solving them Practice for basic math in last 30 days to avoid calculation mistakes. It is very important. Fine. Because uh, many students after coming out from the examination hall, they say, oh my God, blunder. Just because of the calculation. So please don't do these type of mistakes. Fine. Finally, be positive because that is very important. And from our side, best of luck from Mizo studies. Fine. So with this, I would like to say thanks to all of you for watching this video. Thanks.